Welcome to New York University's Robert F. Wagner Graduate School of Public Service 2021 Virtual Graduation Celebration. Please welcome our distinguished Dean, Sherry Gleed. Good morning. I'm Sherry Gleed, Dean of the Robert F. Wagner Graduate School of Public Service at NYU. Welcome NYU Wagner faculty and staff. Welcome parents and children, partners and spouses, family and friends. And most importantly, welcome to the 2021 graduating class of NYU Wagner. It has been an honor and a privilege to be your Dean. And despite the unprecedented challenges we've faced since last March, I am delighted to be here with you today to mark this important moment. This is not the convocation we had anticipated. Though there is now much more progress and hope for better times ahead, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused so much grief and despair, both here in our home in New York City, which has been hit very hard, and all over the world. It has struck everywhere, but it has had its cruelest effects on the poor and disadvantaged, the discriminated against, and the oppressed. Before we turn to celebration, I want to take a moment to acknowledge what we have been through, and particularly to offer condolences on behalf of myself and our entire community to those who have lost loved ones in these tragic and calamitous times. The pandemic has torn the fabric of our history. So many of you have played critical roles in keeping our lives and our society whole, both during the darkest days of this crisis and as we now move towards more normalcy. I am so proud of you, of all the Wagner students who, as you always do, got the job done, the nurses and other health professionals who have provided frontline care, those working in other essential services who have kept our communities operating, the volunteers and social entrepreneurs who have produced masks, the staff running vaccination centers, and those at nonprofits serving and advocating for the most vulnerable in our societies. I'm also proud of all of you who, despite chaos and constant change and kids being homeschooled and pets and bad Wi-Fi, attended Zoom lectures, showed patients with new technology, and completed your courses and capstone projects, you too got the job done and you made it to this graduation. And I am so proud that Wagner has played a role in preparing you, the class of 2021, to take on the most urgent work of my lifetime, mending that tear in our history and building a new future. The scars of this pandemic cannot be erased, but with the passion you bring to public service, the skills and frameworks that you've learned, and the networks you've built amongst yourselves and with the classes that came before you, I am confident that you can help to mend them. There has never been a more critical time for public service, and no group better prepared to go out there and rebuild our world. I'm excited to see you get that job done. It is now my pleasure to introduce NYU's president, Andrew Hamilton. Hello, I'm Andrew Hamilton, president of NYU, and I am thrilled to say a few words to the tremendous NYU Wagner class of 2021. Graduates, this day is about you your achievements, your goals, your talents, and yes, your determination. This past year has brought challenges that none of us foresaw when you began your graduate studies, but you have met them with resilience, and each of you has succeeded in a rigorous course of training and scholarship at one of the top schools of public service in the country. We are very proud of you, and we are proud of the entire NYU Wagner community. Throughout the pandemic, students, alumni, and faculty have provided care to the sick and vulnerable and helped shape governmental responses. Wagner's faculty includes this year's winners of NYU's Making a Difference Award and our Martin Luther King Jr. Faculty Award. You organized an extensive voter engagement effort in the lead up to the 2020 presidential election. You are launching a pre-doctoral research consortium in partnership with leading policy schools around the country. And of course, the entire NYU community celebrated the transformative $25 million gift to NYU Wagner from Bloomberg Philanthropies that will help train the next generation of public service leaders. Class of 2021, the qualities that led you to choose this extraordinary school are the same ones that will help you make a difference in the world after graduation. 
As Wagner students, you strengthen cities and communities here in New York and across the globe. You are skilled problem solvers and idea creators. You make governments and organizations more efficient, equitable, and just. In a year defined by upheaval and reckoning, the world needs your talents now more than ever. I can't wait to see how you will make an impact for the better. So on behalf of the entire NYU community, class of 2021, warmest congratulations to you all and our very, very best wishes. Thank you, President Hamilton, for your words of celebration and encouragement. It is a tradition here at Wagner to ask a student to speak, as this is your moment and your day. This year, we are delighted to give that honor to Hanan Almarzuki. Hanan is now a graduate of our Health Policy and Management Program. She is passionate about healthcare and mental health services, telemedicine, and strategy development. Currently, she is an intern at NYU Langone Orthopedic Hospital, working in quality and patient safety. We were fortunate to have her talents here at Wagner, and now the world is fortunate to gain them. Please join me in welcoming Hanan Almarzuki. Thank you, Dean Gleed, and thank you to the Wagner class of 2021, our families and friends, for joining us to celebrate this milestone today. I want to start off by congratulating my fellow classmates and colleagues on making it to the finish line. We're the second virtually graduating class at NYU, and though I truly wish we could be celebrating together in person, I want to acknowledge the resilience and sense of community we collectively maintained inside and outside the classroom. Personally, for me, being in New York for a duration of the pandemic has been so eye-opening, heartwarming, and an incredibly intense learning experience. I am grateful for my NYU Wagner classmates, friends, faculty, and staff for being a source of support and encouragement throughout this journey. I'd like to now introduce our keynote speaker, Israel Rocha Jr., Wagner alumnus of the Executive Masters in Public Administration. Israel previously served as the CEO of New York City Health and Hospitals, Queens and Elmhurst, which serves nearly 1 million people in one of the most ethnically and linguistically diverse communities in the United States. Elmhurst Hospital became the epicenter within New York during the height of the pandemic, and Israel was instrumental in leading their COVID-19 response efforts. He has been recognized on the Queen's Power 50 list, as well as being named a 2020 NYU alumni changemaker. He is currently serving as Chief Executive Officer for Cook County Health in Chicago, in charge of Chicago's $2.8 billion 180-year-old public hospital system that serves 500,000 people per year. It is now my pleasure to turn to Israel Rocha. Hello, everybody. Congratulations to NYU Wagner, class of 2021. The entire NYU family is so proud of you. Graduating from college is a special milestone in our lives. It represents hard work, sacrifice, determination, and compromise. For those of you that have completed finals via Wagner's famous group projects and capstones, you know well the art of compromise. But in all seriousness, you have had to navigate your studies, the demands of tuition, the obligations of family and friendship, and special to your class, the challenges of an unprecedented pandemic to get here today. Through this road of knowledge, opportunity, and complexity, you have successfully arrived to celebrate your graduation. You are now a graduate of one of the world's top academic institutions, and you possess the resilient tools that only an NYU Wagner education can bring. Congratulations. To those that supported your journey today, parents, grandparents, spouses, family members, professors, mentors, and friends, take a moment to tell them thank you. Because if you remember nothing else from my address here today, let it be the importance of family, friends, and those around you who help you succeed. No one succeeds alone. I know that today's virtual ceremony is probably not what you envisioned when you started your journey at NYU. But these are not ordinary times. You are not ordinary students. And my request of you today is don't be ordinary graduates. Remain extraordinary. As you find your way in the world, hold this experience close. While there is much to mourn, remember there is also much to celebrate and many to remember and honor. 
the resilience of the human spirit, our shared global humanity, and the emergence of greatness that often comes when times demand it most. You are part of that greatness. Remember that as a class of 2021, when you are challenged with illness, uncertainty, and fear, together you found a way to keep moving forward. Together you united to say, how can we help? It was your class, your leadership, that helped use all the tools around you to make the world better. The last century has been spent with humanity marveling at all the wonders our technology can achieve. My request to you, be the first to don a new era that leads us to marvel at what our humanity can achieve. As many of you know, I was honored and proud to serve as the CEO of Elmhurst and Queens Hospitals during the height of the pandemic. That experience forever changed me. Looking back at the COVID-19 pandemic from today, we are already starting to forget what it was like at the beginning. At the start of the pandemic, all our tools, technology, and medical regiments left us in need for more. Hospitals and providers around the world struggled with an invisible enemy that technology and medicine had not found a way to circumvent. In the beginning, in the face of incredible challenges, I can say without reservation that it was our humanity that kept us going. Our unrelenting resolve that our hospital would not fail. We would be there for our community and our patients. When we struggled, it was our humanity and our community that kept us going till our technology caught up and helped us turn the tide in the war against COVID-19. However, COVID is not our only concern today. Every day, we see our community grow more divided. Today, we use technology to talk at each other and not to each other. This approach has allowed technological algorithms to screen our news and shape our politics. My request to you is help us remember our humanity. Find ways to help us understand one another. Help us find the beauty in our differences. Help us listen and not react. Be the catalyst that leads to the disempowerment of fear and hate. The fate and future of our global citizenry depends on your success in this endeavor. We need your leadership. The nation has been waiting for you to come along and lead us forward. That is the opportunity that you hope. The power to shine brightly for justice, inclusion, equity, and above all, the shared joy of our collective humanity. Help us build the world we all have been waiting for. As a representative of the over 500,000 NYU alumni around the world, I promise we will have your back in this bold and necessary endeavor. So congratulations, class of 2021. Help us change the world and God bless all of you. I have the pleasure to now turn it over to the Associate Dean of Admissions and Student Affairs, David Schechter. Thank you, Israel. And congratulations, everyone. You did it. You really did it. Wow, what an extraordinary moment this is. Graduates, you have triumphed over adversity like no graduating class before you. You earned this. I hope that you take a few moments to relish this accomplishment. You've made adjustments and exhibited resilience, and we celebrate you, all of you. And to the partners and children and parents and friends of our graduating students, we celebrate you too for the support and the sacrifices that you made. We know you missed your loved ones just a little bit more than you let on. Thank you. Each year, we honor a handful of graduating students whose significant contributions to public service leadership within the NYU Wagner community and beyond deserve special commendation. 
We recognize these awardees for their extraordinary dedication and engagement. And it's my pleasure to announce this year's awardees. Sherelle Hall is the recipient of this year's Robert F. Wagner Award for Public Service. This award is given to a student for exceptional dedication to public service during their time at Wagner. And the recipients are often going to school part-time and working full-time in the field while at school. And they contribute to the Wagner community in a significant way. Yi Ping Bang and Catherine Key are the recipients of this year's Martin Dworkis Memorial Award, which is given to students for academic achievement, participation in Wagner School activities, and public service. We consider this award the best all around. Alexandra Curtin and Emily Rolichmore receive this year's Hamad Fund International Leadership Award for their contributions to the global experience academic success, and exceptional capacity for international leadership. The Howard Newman Award is given to a capstone team for exemplary teamwork, client relations, and final deliverables. We have two teams receiving this year's award. Joseph Bayetti, Carrie Eidson, Jamilka McLean, and David Zhang had the Belize Association of Planners as their capstone client which enlisted them to identify intersectional vulnerabilities between climate change and gender in urban Belize, including aspects of social identity that contribute to heightened climate impacts on women and other marginalized groups. The second group of recipients are Marlene Artov, Shruti Bengali, Alexis Contreras, and Crystal Samar for their capstone work with Land to Learn, a nonprofit organization dedicated to growing food justice and community wellness through education. This team constructed effective and efficient impact assessment tools for the agency's limited staff to use and sustain over time. The Joe Ivy Buffett Award for Innovative Solutions to Public Service Challenges this year goes to Abdullah al Husman, Madeline Dinsdale, Julia Maloney, and Kyle Rowland a capstone team that worked with IBM to investigate ways to scale the adoption of artificial intelligence tools in the nonprofit sector. The Ellen Shaw Award for Diversity goes to Sakura Miyazaki in recognition of significant contribution and commitment to identity, diversity, belonging, and equity at Wagner. And finally, the Robert Byrne Award for Leadership is given for significant contribution to the Wagner community and goes to five students this year. Rachel Brown, Lara Fu, Bria Mathis, Jesse Miller, and Rutika Nayak. Each one of them has gone the extra few miles, exhibiting maturity and dedication and contributing in numerous ways to enhance the Wagner experience through student group involvement, collaborative efforts, helping to raise the positive profile of school and so much more. Congratulations to all of you for the significant contributions you have made to the NYU Wagner community and beyond in terms of your academic achievements, effective teamwork and overall leadership. The bios of our award recipients are available on our Wagner graduation website. I'd like to also acknowledge the many of you who received awards and accolades this year for various competitions and service, both within and outside of NYU. It's now my pleasure to introduce Professor Ingrid Gould Ellen, Director of our doctoral program, to present our doctoral candidates. I am pleased to present the candidates for Doctor of Philosophy. Our first candidate is Saida Sana Fatima. Her dissertation was titled Schools and Beyond, Examining the Role of Policy and Context for At-Risk Students. Professor Leanna Stiefel was her committee chair. Professor Michael Gilrain from NYU's Economics Department and I also served on her committee. Our second candidate is Bryant Gregory Hopkins. His dissertation was titled The Sharpest Tools in the Shed, 
the efficacy of federal education policy for special populations and their teachers. Professor Leanna Stiefel was also his committee chair. Syracuse Professor Amy Ellen Schwartz and NYU Steinhardt Professor Joe Simpion also served on his committee. Congratulations to both Sana and Bryant for their extraordinary achievement. Now we will recognize our graduate candidates in each program for recognition. Along with Professor Erica Foldy, Director of the Public and Nonprofit Management and Policy Program, here are the candidates for the Master of Public Administration in Public and Nonprofit Management and Policy. David Schachter, Associate Dean of Admissions and Student Affairs, will read each candidate's name. Lauren Taylor Abatello. Sarah Abibi. Lorianne Abraham. Margaret Aka Yensu. Abdullah Al Hussam, Ria Almeida, Giselle Andrews, Akshura Anirjita, Juan Ardila, Cormuel Arroyo, Marlene Annabel Artov, Emmanuel Asumi, Swan Ki Bao, Kayla Barna, Shruti Bengani, Stephanie Leanne Benaw, Rachel Bahio, Julia Boyaval, Chloe Cha, Jasmine Charbonnier, Annie Chin, Chaoer Chen, Carolyn Chen, Ki Cheng, Ryan Chu, Jeffrey Claude, Sarah Cohen, Rachel Compton, Alexis Contreras, Ka Dang, Kimberly De Jesus, Madeline Dinsdale, Deirdre Ann Dolin, Ipang Dong, Yudong, Mariamo Drame, Andrew Edelman, Ashley Samantha Emery, Catherine Falato, Nadine Fuad, Lara Fu, Mabel Fung, Allison Gao, Salamawit Gashau, Olga Golub, Gracie Gottlieb, Karen Grange, Cyan Griffiths, Rui Rui Gu, Yuchi Han, Teja Hawkins, Benjamin Roy Heller, Zachary Hill Wilton, Ka Yoke Ho, Erica Habi, Daniel Bracha Hoffer, Yushin Huang, Jusha Huang, Will Innes, Divya Chithwani, Shu Jiang, Luke Jones, Sam Khan, Rajvinder Kaur. Howen K. Catherine Kelly. Sabrina Kessler. Diana Kitchler. Alexandra Elise Curtin. Emily Kissa. John Thomas Lott. Loretta Lancelotti. Chloe Levinson. Sihan Liu. Paul Longo. Christina Mida. Theodora Macris, Julia Maloney, Bria Jasmine Mathis, Benjamin Jacob McCarthy, Jamilka McLean, Lizzie McNevin, Christina Maria Mejalescu, Jesse Miller, Tiffany Rose Miller, Alicia Nicole Molina McCall, Amber Charity Molina McCall, Stephen L. Morales, Nu Moi, Niel Nayak, Abraham Clardy Nelson, Olvi Rafael Nunez Cruz, Jack Osea, Ashley Otto, Caleb Pally, China Palmore, Deja Pamarthi, Daniel Patterson, Sarah Grace Pattis, John Patinos, 
Lily Pfeiffer, Aaron Carl Pope, Luisa Pressburger Portugal, Faraz Ahad Rahman, Emily Ralich Moore, Anna Maria Raimondo, Charles Sean Ron, Alexis Rose Richards, Will Richards, Ashley Ann Richardson, Javon L. Robinson, Stephanie Rosas Garcia, Emily Megan Rosenbach, Justine Rosenthal, Tegu Saparian Dwi Sasango, Andrew Shones, Mia Christine Schulman, Rachel Elizabeth Schultz, Lee Svadia, Lois Shaw, Faina Schenfeld, Abe Silberstein, Maggie Slowey, Alexander Bruce Smith, Crystal Somor, Will Summer, Luisana Sosa Caraballo, Derek Denzel Spencer, Jamie Spock, Adam Stein, Jane Sun, Mafidas Talania, Lois Kami Taylor Camara, Olivia Thompson, Grace Tran, Scott Davis Trumbull, Mark Tyrook, Kayla Terrell, Joseph Valia Kulathl, Juntiang Wang, Sinchi Wang, Michael Watson, Naomi Hannah Weinblatt, Mindy Wong, Jeffrey Wood, Micah Wood, Joen King Yan, Max Yokum, Shibayu, Camille Lazard, Lena Zelman, Tian Heng Zhang, Lu Zhang, Chao Li Zhang, Jiran Zhao, David Zhang. Along with Professor Carla Jackie Sampson, Director of the Health Policy and Management Program, here are the candidates for the Master of Public Administration in Health Policy and Management. Caddy Jones, Assistant Dean of Academic Programs, will read the candidates' names. Arvin Radfar Akavan. Robin Allen. Katie Allen. Hanan Almarzuki. Erica Bellet. Rahi Buyan. Brielle Blatt. Yiping Bang. Sherry Chen. Cynthia Chong. Randy Cuevas. Andrew Zachary Dahl. Michelle DiMartino. Sherlene Dolan. Alana Dudnoth. Lauren Eisner. Lizetta Elmsia. Adam Fine. Inga Furunis. Nadia Gaku. John Gordon. Sarah Hashimi. Sejad Hossein. Serena Howe. Christonia Joseph. Annis Kim. Megan Rose Lane. Lillian Law. Sasha Lopez. Natalia Martinez Lopez. Christina Metzler. Shivani Mera. Jacqueline Mylek. Sakura Miyazaki. Anthony Monaco. 
Sheyamaka Precious Ojako Silvio Olivares Manol Patel Bienal Patel Katara Alexis Phillips Leighton St. Aubin Pitter Mauricia Pook Sela Radoncic Sanjana Shafiq Rahman Kyaulin Rajvandari Lucrezia Renzetti Adam Philip Schwartz Beatrice Simon Ogon Mercy Swarna Sushant Thomas Derek Tobaya Kylie Turgeon Olivia Van Gundy Amber Vandiar Anna Vasileva Chloe Van Anken Ruby Wang Emma Claire Watson Jamila Jillian Williams Shani Yeheskel Jimmy Yoder Sarah Yolek Along with Professor Vanessa Dean, Director of the Urban Planning Program, here are the candidates for the Master of Urban Planning. Caddy Jones, Assistant Dean of Academic Programs, will read the candidates' names. Susanna Aaron. Celeste Alcina. Andrea Asprelli. Joey Bayetti. Maxwell Bernstein Rachel Brown Nicholas Robert Cowan Cynthia De La Rosa Maria Free Paul Goebel Cameron Haas Christina Chang Andrew Jones Catherine Ann Key Michael Kim Josh Brian Ko Ayesha Artin Lilawunla Olivia R. Limon Francesca Patrice Malube Miles Martin Kylie H. McDowell, Catherine McGannity, Noel Lee Myers Powell, Ryan Morgan, Caroline Gilchrist Morris, Lisa Nyamazawu, Jayun Liz Park, Alan Patterson. Jason Lou Phillips, Matthew Petrus, Chris Pollock, Maitri Pujara, Catherine Rivard, Anne Marie Jennifer Rodriguez, Megan Rosa, Lindsay Ross. Chase Edward Grant Rudner Tomoyo Sakai Khan Shing William Sklar Jacqueline Lee Spade Carlo Steinman Samantha Ann Vickers Heimowitz Yuan Chen Jaw 
Guangzhou. Along with Professor Carla Jackie Sampson, Director of the Health Policy and Management Program, here are the very first candidates for the Master of Health Administration. Caddy Jones, Assistant Dean of Academic Programs, will read the candidates' names. Giovanni Aspinall. Dennis Liu. Andrew Higgins. Khaled Ibrahim. Diana Candifer. Griffin Ian Katz, Winona Kwok, Tamara Levin, Ingrid Maria Martinez Valerio, Erica Mayer, Chase Samuel Meyerson, Monica Lisette Moscoso, Tamara Sonetta Mueller, Rutika Nayak, Natia Nolan, Natalie Gail Roland, Hesham Shaban. Along with Professor Catherine O'Regan, Director of the Master of Science in Public Policy Program, here are the candidates for the Master of Science in Public Policy. Caddy Jones, Assistant Dean of Academic Programs, will read the candidates' names. Caitlin Elizabeth Davis. Caitlin Edwards. Aditi Wotham. Renata Garica. Liam Max Gorman. Carolyn Delaney Gorman. Lisa Ho. Jordan Taylor Coster, Ethan Marcus, Yao Xuan Ng, Parker Wesley Pence, Ali Rakas, Sydney Stein, Ariel Stalbin, Keith Howard Westcott, Mendel Zecker. Along with Professor Gordon Campbell, Director of the Executive MPA Program, here are the candidates for the Executive Master of Public Administration for Public Service Leaders. Caddy Jones, Assistant Dean of Academic Programs, will read the candidates' names. Yolani Serrato Corrales. Daryl Dyer. Rebecca Nesson. Sherelle Hall. Leslie Harris. Vincent Arapoli, Daniel Jemmy Bewal, Primo Lasana, Rachel Mahler, Jessica Martin, Carrie McConus, Kaylee Moran, Adrian Ogle, Roland Richard Persad, Rachel Plutzer. Kate Purcell, Holly Raub, Megan Rubel, Michael Sternberg, James Stratford, Samara Ray Sutton Berger, Vachel Wandy Tan, Larissa Wince Trinder, Natasha Michelle Walker, Nick Wilson. Along with Professor Paul Smoke, Director of the EMPA Global Policy Leaders Program, here are the candidates for the Executive Master of Public Administration for Global Policy Leaders. Caddy Jones, Assistant Dean of Academic Programs, will read the candidates' names. Aramando Awed Aedo, Manuel Barros, Roberto Antonio Cabrera y Rodriguez, 
Luis Diego Cobb, Siham Khaled Block, Juliana Florfia, Rodrigo Mora Ortega. Congratulations to the NYU Wagner class of 2021. Go Wagners! We welcome graduates, family, and friends to join our program and specialization celebrations, which will begin at noon Eastern time. Thank you.